If you want to print just a range of cells instead of the whole worksheet, well, there's two ways you can do it. First of all, you can go ahead and click and drag and select a range of cells that you'd like to print off. And to print just this range, you want to go ahead and click on the Office logo button, go down and click on the Print button, or you can come up here and click on Print. Either one will work. I'm going to click here. And in the Print What section, you want to select the selection of what we selected in our spreadsheet. And then go ahead and click OK, and it'll print off just what you selected. In fact, if you want to preview this in the print preview, because remember, whatever you see in the print preview is exactly what you're going to get on your piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and click preview, and there it is. This is the only page. There's no next page here, just this one. And I can click on it to zoom in, and again, it's just going to print out what I've selected. So I can close out of that. Now, if I go ahead and I say, well, I want this, but also I want, and I'm going to hold down the control key and click and drag an extra selection. So I have the selection above and the selection below. And let me click and drag another selection here. Watch what happens when I just go ahead and I say, click on the Office logo to print what I have selected. It's actually going to divide it up into three pages. The selection up at the top will be on page one, selection down here will be page two, and that will be page three. When I click on the preview button, you can see I have next page, next page. So it adds each new selection will give it its own separate page here, which is nice because when I click and close out of the print preview, I may want to discuss in meetings uh, certain ranges of employees, like maybe this section down here is going to be giving them a raise. This one will be cutting hours. Maybe the range up here will be something about whether we give them more benefits. Click off in a blank area to deselect that. Another way of printing your ranges is to actually set your print range. Meaning if I go ahead and select this, I can actually put on the, the quick access toolbar a little button that says, make sure that this is the print range, the only thing that we print. And in addition, once you set the print range, which will add a bunch of little dotted lines, it will actually remove these page breaks and just add it around your selection. You will also want to be able to clear that so you can print the whole worksheet again. So I add the two buttons, set print range and clear print range, although to me, it's a lot quicker to just go ahead and select what I want and then go ahead and click on the print button and select the selection of what I have here. But here's another way. Come up here on the Quick Access Toolbar, go ahead and right click and go down and left click on Customize. Change it from Popular Commands to All Commands. Then click and scroll down all the way to the letter, let's see, beginning S's. This is alphabetized. And we want to find our set print area here. There it is. Double click on it to add it over to the right. In addition, I want to be able to clear my print areas. So now I got to scroll all the way back up to the letter C's here and look for clear print area, select it, double click, adds it over to the right, click OK. So I can go ahead and make a selection here. And the moment I click on the button up in the quick access toolbar set, it removes the page breaks and when I click off in a blank area you can see it's just dotted or page breaking around my selection. So if I go ahead and take a look at that in print preview, there's no next pages and this is the only page that's there. I click on it to zoom out and what you see is what you get in the print preview. Close out of that. To get rid of this I can just click on the clear print area and then it removes the page breaks around the selection and it goes back to the normal page break settings here and then to get rid of these I can just when in doubt right click and remove them right click and remove hey thanks for watching if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my YouTube channel as soon as I upload a new video you'll be notified instantly and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face you can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.